Yeah, good day, good day, good day. Now, today, I'm going to do a DIY video on how to make one of these. Crevicing tool. Alright. How to make your own crevicing tool for gold prospecting. If that's what you're into. So, uh, here we go. First thing I got, a bit of 3mm Duragal steel and I've marked out the shape of that and I just got to cut that out okay Right, and there you have the first stage. That's the cutout. Right there. It only took me about, oh, maybe five minutes. It doesn't take long to cut out. I'm using a grinder with the skinny blade, a real skinny blade. And uh, it doesn't take long to cut that out at all. Once it's marked out. Okay, so that's your. Uh, that's the body of the crevice tool. Now, I'll show you where to go next. Okay. Now, find yourself one of these, which is just a, an old roll, off a hand towel roll, um, something like that, just a cardboard roll. Grab yourself one like that, about, you know, a bit bigger than your hand sort of thing. And once you get that, I'll show you where to go from there. Now I've got a timber jig made up, just two bits of wood and a piece across the top. And I've got a slot cut in the top of it. And what that'll do, that's to keep my blade, keep my blade upright. When it's inside the roll, the toilet roll holder or whatever. Okay, so really, I, when I made mine, I only just had this piece of wood. I just sat on a couple of you know, buckets or something like that, but I thought I'd just knock this little jig together so I can make more than one. So it's just a bit of wood, slot in the top to hold the blade upright. Okay yourself some fiberglass body filler, car filler, car glass. Yeah. <clears throat> Just mix up your car bog. The thing is you've got to watch with this stuff is you don't make it too hot because it'll go off real quick. You don't want it to go off real quick. You shove it up inside this thing, push it inside the, the pipe, both ends, Remove the jig. Poke more of it down the side. Now 
no matter how messy it is on the outside. As long as this thing is well and truly full. the old bog into it, you can repair it later, so it doesn't really matter. Hopefully that's enough. Right, shove this thing down inside. Right at the bottom. And right at the bottom. With it. and place your jig over the top like so and that'll hold it up straight I'll move that to one side just to do your final adjustments Take it out, final adjustments, very messy, but that doesn't matter. If you've got a bit more stuff, you can just put it on the top there, filling around the top. Important not to make it too hot with too much of the, the catalyst, otherwise it'll go off too quick on you. If it goes off too quick, then you just wasted your time. Make a few final adjustments just to get it like parallel. Upright. Something like that. Hopefully that's Good. Looks okay. Straighten that up a bit. So it's nice and parallel in this way. Looks okay, I think. Make sure you put it on a piece of paper. There, so I just run a standing knife cut down the side and I peeled the uh, the roll off, the cardboard, it's off. You can actually wash it off, soak it in water or just leave it there and sand it. Now, the sanding is the next process, sand it to shape. So anyway, that's been removed, so I'll move on. There's another one in the jig. This one's got a bit different tip on it. And I made the uh, <coughs> the car bog a little bit hotter this time so it'll go off quick or quicker. Okay. Okay, just putting the finishing touches on the handles, giving them a couple of coats of black. Just got them stuck in the palings there so they they stay out off the fence. Okay. So they're not professional by any means. They're just a hand built tool that uh, is functional. Yeah, if I was <coughs> want them to be professional, then I'd be selling them professionally. <laughs> but these are for a guy that asked me to make him some. I'm going to send them over to him. Uh, it's Kirk. It's Secret Creek Prospecting. So I've got three. I've got three for your Kirk. And I think the, 
they didn't take me long to make but it's probably going to take about a month to get them over there to the US <laughs> that's the worst part and hopefully they make it and they don't think there's some sort of a deadly attack weapon <laughs> I'll put on what they are but um, I've got one more I'll just show you this one right this one I've got yet to paint and I don't know if you can see that on there there's a close up you see that SCP Secret Creek Prospecting they're all they're all marked like that with a die so he doesn't lose them okay so I've just got to paint this one up got it masked up ready to paint That just hardens them. Hardens the tip. And there we have it. Three different styles and lengths. Okay. So, there you go. Easy, simple prospecting tool. Worst part was trying to get hold of the steel. I had to order it. 3mm Duragal, it is, 3mm Duragal uh, because they don't rust I found that yeah, all the time they're in the water if it was just black steel they'd probably rust but because they're a, a Duragal they don't rust uh, might get a little bit of rust on the edges where I cut them but yeah so that's it and honestly they probably only took me a couple of hours to make uh, the main thing is is waiting, waiting for the bog to set, and you got to sand them and sand the sides, and then you got coats of paint, coats of paint. But I could probably knock one up in an hour, you know. So they don't take all that long. So if you want to have a go yourself, well, give it a go. Okay. So hopefully, uh, thanks for coming along for the ride, and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.